Yeah. Right? <laughs> Single thing. I'll tell you, what those 10 point tie breakers are quite nerve wracking, obviously, but you know, given all the things that you've played in the past, do you still get a bit of nerves in that? Well, of course, yeah, but it's a good tension also because um, it's good to have a test like this against uh, two top players uh, like today before going into a Grand Slam because you know, last week we played really good and um, no, so it's uh, it's interesting, yeah. I mean, it gives us a little bit of a push and uh, to always be awake. That's uh, that's a good one. Also today, I think the weather helped a little bit to just you know calm ourselves down and uh, just regroup and come out and and do our job. <laughs> Well, I think this is something that I dreamed about and that I, I was hoping for. I mean, I can only say it over and over again that, uh, you know, it's uh, something that, um, you know, it's a priority also. When I was playing singles, singles was priority and I became number one there. And um, also simultaneously, I was number one in both. And uh, now, I put 100% or 120% into this, and I think that's what makes us this great double. We, the chemistry is uh, amazing, like today also. You know, we don't always play uh, super tennis, but we come out and find a solution, and I think that's what makes us right now the best doubles out there in the world. It's quite a beat. You, um, you know, first consecutive wins now for doubles tennis. How are you feeling about that? In 20 years, right? Oh, yeah, I think so, yeah. No, I mean, it's. Uh, <laughs> it feels like it's been a long time since we lost, obviously, and, you know, it's kind of spoiling us a little bit because every time we're in a position to lose, we get so annoyed because we're obviously not used to it, and, you know, which is normal, um, you know, but having said that, though, every time we come out, I mean, today the girls we were playing, they were playing probably the best I've seen them play. I mean, Slava's won slams before, but Olaru was playing really well, and we had to really put everything that we had and really come out with our A game when we needed to, especially in that super tie break. So, you know, it's not like because we've been winning so much, we take it for granted, really. We we try every time. We Everyone, we're the hunted. Everyone plays their best against us, and we have to keep playing our best as well to win, and I'm glad we could do it 29 times. Hopefully, we can do it 30th tomorrow. With that rain delay, uh, did you guys talk much tactics or were you kind of staying relaxed and keeping your minds up the game? Actually, we didn't talk to each other. <laughs> we did, right? I don't think we did. We spoke to our team separately, yeah, but separately, we didn't talk yeah. to each other. <laughs> yeah, I was in my corner, like, trying yeah. to just cool off. <laughs> yeah, it was a little bit hot out That's there. That's funny, actually. You asked, no, we didn't talk to each other. Yeah. Uh, just we just, we came just when court, we came on yeah. court. Yeah, we said, like you know, a couple of things to each other. But that's really how we function. I mean, we've played enough tennis all our lives. We just have to kind of know what we had to do. We weren't playing our best, and they were. And that's the reason we were down. Um, it was pretty simple, you know. We, so we needed to just simplify things. And that's what we said. Just try and get our attitudes better. We can't always play the best. So try and stay positive and break right away. And that's what we did. And I think that was huge to come out and break her first game uh, to get back to all. And then, yeah, from there, we felt like we were the better team. Yeah, obviously, we don't need much talking anymore. It's like, it's just like there's a, some keywords, but it, it's never the same. It sometimes changes things, and it's like sometimes it doesn't even have anything to do almost with the match, like or strategy. It's like something else. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're smiling always during your match. You can see both having fun. Um, do you really enjoy playing together? Well, obviously, we know what we can do. I mean, our best shots, our best things, and when they're not happening, we're like, okay, you know, like, I got one in now, I got one here, and we're scrambling it all together. But um, uh, it, it was... Um, I think so, the best yeah, thing about... <laughs> well, I mean, the best thing about our team is that even when we're not playing our best, we try and find a way, which we tried to do today. I mean, we haven't played the best perfect 100% tennis the last 29 matches, you know? It's not like that. Nobody can. But you find a way. So both of us, I mean, one of us helps each other out all the time, and that's really how we play. And so we try and enjoy it. I mean, even the times when we want to break a racket, you try and smile it off. But, you know, <laughs> but that's, how, that's, that's just how you have to move on. And if you win, great. If you don't win, you try and come back to the next tournament. I tell you that mixed combination with Roger and Rhea, I'm not sure if that's actually confirmed or whatever. Is that, is that it was confirmed. Yeah, is that, is that confirmed or what? Yes. Yeah, I think he, during the exhibition, and he confirmed it. So I asked the, the, 
<laughs> no, I had the luxury of having great two partners, two options. So, um, yeah, for a small country like us, it's uh, definitely we have, you know, five top players out there, and um, so it's pretty, pretty nice to have these options. Well, I think my mom has been helping her for the last 10 years, and I try to help her out when I'm, um, you know, when we're at the same tournament. Sometimes we practice, sometimes, but mainly when I get the chance, I uh, also watch her matches, prepare her for it strategically and all that. But I think also, you know, just being there, I think it's like sometimes you have the eye contact, this and that, and she trusts me, and I know what she can do. And I think yesterday she definitely had one of these matches that she needed to pull it out, you know, had an easy first set. Then Makarova came out and started playing her, her game and being more aggressive, and she had to just come through and pull it out. And uh, I think those are the key moments that sometimes, you know, that one person can help you just like believing in you. Doesn't, doesn't need words, but that's what we have also together. Just believe, believe in our abilities and when we need it and we know when it matters and just do it what, it's, what needs to be done. Uh, but she's quite emotional, also. <laughs> but she's comfortable with herself, and like, she doesn't yeah. feel the outside pressure so much. Well, I think she's been handling herself pretty well. I mean, sometimes you still need to calm her down when she gets too emotional, but I think that's something that she, she'll get better at, and she needs to learn with these things. And, um, you know, I think uh, definitely she's, she's got a bright future. You know, like, we're not here to talk about Belinda, so I think it's like you already asked two, three questions, so I think it's not. Well, it's a close-up. I'm sure you've asked, been asked this a lot, but have you had any kind of itch to have a more crack at some of the other players that you've played with in the tournament? Like, in these last few years, have you given any, any thoughts there? No, I mean, I've been asked this question a million times over last year, and I'm, I think, like, I would not want to put this on the spot, like, to uh, to have not been tired. I played some, I played actually a couple matches in Fed Cup, and, and the next event didn't turn out that great, so I don't want to do that mistake ever again, so I just keep that aside, and I prefer winning, you know, doubles tournaments with Sanya, and I think we have a great shot at that, what we've proved so far. Okay. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Cheers.